Hi everyone! I'm sitting with my blue eyeshadow in my onesie. Yeah. Thinking that I'm like 12 or something. Um, today I wanted to talk about uh, through the synchronicities in the day there was a lot of uh, stuff about excuses that came up. So I wanted to talk about what excuses are you making for the place that you are in your life at the moment. Um, so maybe not strictly related to being on a detox but it could be related to starting a detox. It was a conversation I did have uh, with somebody very close to me. It's actually my dad. So if you're watching dad, yes, I'm talking about you. Um, we had a conversation where he said the same thing that he said to me a year ago and you know I said to him like, I'm really sorry <laughs> I'm kind of feeling a little bit blunt today I just don't have time to hear you talking about starting you know you're either going to do it or you're not and it's interesting to listen to the excuses that people make why they can't do something and I'm you know again I'm not saying I'm not fallible I'm sure I do it a lot but today I was just in this mood where I was like, I was so tired of hearing the reasons why not to do something. Um, which says a lot about my frame of mind at the moment. <laughs> uh, probably because I know I should be getting on with things that I need to complete. Um, but anyway, I wanted to bring this question to you because I think it's really, really important to actually look at where you're at and say, okay, where do I want to be and what are the reasons, what reasons am I giving myself for not getting there? Because most of the time, if you really look at it, there'll be excuses around it. You know, it's a story that we make up that isn't real. That we just put it in place because it helps us to procrastinate over it. You know, that maybe we look at something and we think it's difficult, we think it's going to take too long or we think we can't do it by ourselves or um, you know we don't have enough money whatever it is there's always something and ultimately if it's something that you really want bad enough you would I'm not, okay I'm not saying you always find a way but you would try and find a way or you would look um, at different ways of manifesting the thing that you want um, so I guess going back to speaking to my dad about him getting healthy is something that he spoke about for years um, but he just never quite gets there and one thing I don't want you guys to do is if you have a goal you know when I spoke about intention setting the other day um, so if you have something that you really want you really want to do it don't put things in play that are going to stop you doing it. Be really mindful, be really aware of the things that you're doing that are actually just a reason to keep you in the safe space that you're in. And that's it, really. <laughs> and I'm really mindful when I'm saying this that I'm also talking to myself because I really believe in that too. I will catch up with you when I think of something else to bore you with. Bye.